What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Hope you all had an incredible weekend and I'm recording this Monday so I'm hoping to get this up right away. So I hope you're having an incredible, awesome, productive start to your week. Um, today's video is going to be super casual, kind of like a tea time, but I'm not going to take any questions or anything. I'm just going to have a real raw chit chat with you guys about where I am at personally in my life, um, mentally, just a lot of things that have been going on. Um, I've shared a lot of like intimate things with you guys within the past few months of some struggle I've been going through uh, outside of social media. And I want to be as open with you guys as possible because I've said before, I think it's super important to, you know, have people you look up to on social media and who can be an inspiration for you, but to always remember that their Instagram or their YouTube is not 100% of reality. People are showing what they choose to show and no matter how many followers or how much money someone has, people still deal with relationship issues and issues with their family, mental issues, mental health, depression, anxiety. You know, I went through binge eating disorder and had really, really bad depression. Um, and you just never really know what someone is going through. So even with, I guess, the success I've had or whenever I'm doing good in life, I still always want to like keep it real with you guys that I'm like going through things. Um, and this past uh, week, actually, I have been off of Instagram and Snapchat for almost five days. Um, if you don't follow me too closely, you might not have known that, but I really, really needed a break mentally. Um, I feel like I've kind of gone through like a little struggle phase the past few months. Um, I was very open with you guys and shared with you that I've been saving for a house now for over three years and we found our dream home. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get that home and I, you know, I'm very big on the law of attraction and manifesting things and I knew exactly what I wanted in a home with the budget I wanted and the color scheme and the area and the great location for my son and that home checked out and had everything and I felt in my heart that it was supposed to be ours and then we didn't get it so I was pretty upset about that. Um, but I do believe everything happens for a reason and I know the home that we are meant to have uh, and that's meant to be ours is coming in the right time and I this like makes me cry Ugh, everything makes me cry this past week I've just been like emotional but because I can already envision now the video that I'm gonna put up for you guys holding holding the key to my new house and being like you guys like I did it I got this house all by myself like this is what I've been working for this is why the other home didn't work out so I know that I'm on the right path and that everything, a quote that's really been helping me lately that I think will help you guys if you are in times, any time of struggle as well is what is truly meant for you will not pass you. And I truly believe that. This has really helped me lately with um, relationships and just with anything in life. If something is truly meant to be yours, it will be yours. Or say it's a relationship and you break up, that person will come back around. You know, maybe they have some more growing and maturing and inner personal development work to do that maybe you can't see at that time. But if they are right for you or if the house is right for you or whatever your, whatever dream or goal you're going for is meant to be yours, it will be yours. And I just want to share that with you guys if any of you are going through a struggle in any area of life because that's really helped me out lately. Um, so yeah, we have just kind of been going through this situation with the house. Um, also, you know, as Christian's getting older, he is definitely realizing that his dad's not there, which whew, always makes me emotional. I totally would have thought by now that I would have met someone and been with someone or would be with someone at this point, you know, Christian's five and a half. And as he was younger, it didn't really matter too much because my family showered him, it still does, shower him with so much love and we never felt like something was really missing there. But as he gets older and he sees his friends get picked up from school, from a mom and a dad, and he's been reading books and watching movies, um, you know, he wants that and he deserves that. And I truly feel that I'm at a place in life where I have so much to give someone um, you, again, I've talked about this in my Law of Attraction videos, I made a specific list of what I want in a partner and I feel that I am deserving of all of those things because I am willing to also give all those things back to someone else, you know. I want someone who's hardworking and who's respectful and who treats Christian amazing and at the same time I'm willing to do the same for that person. I'm willing to be super respectful, mature, you know, like cater to their needs type of thing. Um, and. Yeah, I just, you know, I know there was other phases in my life when I was younger when I don't feel like I was uh, mature enough or had really come into my own yet as a woman and as a mom and it wasn't the right time to have met someone. But at this point in my life, I feel that I've matured up so much and also I'm doing well in my business and mentally, um, you know, I've overcome a lot of things with, like I said before, the depression, the binge eating. I feel that I'm at a really good place to give someone so much love and to that I truly feel in my heart that I'm ready for a relationship. Um, 
So yeah, it's been a little tough lately and confusing as to why that hasn't happened yet. And I am so good at manifesting every other thing in my life, you know, this current condo, my dream car, my, this job, you know, I manifested and focused on and worked so hard and all of those things have come to fruition in my life. Um, and you know, I, I researched the law of attraction so heavily and so many other things that I put into practice daily into what it takes to attract that person into your life. So I have been, you know, a little down lately that that still hasn't manifested, um, especially for my son's sake. I really do want him to have an awesome male figure to look up to and just a role model in life. And yeah, I just, I want all of that for him, you know? Um, so yeah, just been kind of dealing with that lately. And then I made a video, I want to say like two weeks ago about uh, Christian's behavior about him acting out lately and that has just made me really emotional because after that video and even before that I have really had to do some deep inner work on myself and realize that I need to be a better parent and that when children act out like that it's a reflection of the parent. Um, and you know I always thought oh I love Christian with all my heart I'm doing the best I can but when I took a step back and realized with social media and how engulfed I am in social media and YouTube and I want to respond to every comment and Instagram and every DM I need to take a step back from that even though I love my business and everything obviously I love my son more and he needs to come before anything um, and that I just have been emotional this past week really this kind of why I took a break from social media like the past week um, really just reflecting on the type of mom I want to be the type of woman I want to be what I want for our life um, so I am definitely making a lot of changes to my parenting to actually parent Christian better to make sure that he grows up, you know, respectful and mature and a little gentleman and that he is so friendly. Obviously, I don't want him to be violent or act out. And it's really, really tough on me mentally when he does act out, because like I mentioned in that video, I don't believe that's a true representation of who he is. So if like someone meets him for the first time and he's acting out or he's yelling in the store, it make, it like brings me to tears. Like I get really emotional about it because I feel like he's such a genuine loving kid deep down and I want people to see that you know um, so I've realized that I need to do even better in my parenting than I have been doing we need to do more learning and more tutoring time at home more focused one-on-one -on -one time um, which we have a ton of one-on-one -on -one time as it is just because I have him every day of the week every hour um, but just being even more focused on him and his development and his behavior um, yeah that's just me being open and honest with you guys and realizing that I need to step it up as a parent and yeah, it's just, it was just a little emotional this past week realizing that because I've always felt like I've like done my best or whatever, but when I really took a deeper look into it, I realized that I can definitely do better and my son deserves that. So yeah, with kind of with all those, all those things uh, together this past week, I really needed to take a little break from social media and just have like a mental refocus. I'm actually on a fast right now as well, which I don't want to get super far into because I know I'm going to get bombarded with questions when the fast is over. It's only five days. I'm going to do a whole video on it and don't worry, I'm not doing it for weight loss purposes um, and I'm not telling anyone to like fast to lose crazy amounts of weight or anything like that. So don't even hit me with those comments. I have been heavily researching um, fasting and water fasting and being in a ketogenic state for months and months and I've always wanted to do a water fast. Um, I'm more doing it um, in the sense of, again, that's why I was off social media this whole past weekend. I've been doing tons of meditating, a lot of reflecting and a lot of um, like spiritual work that I haven't, that I've been putting off that has been building up. Um, that I some relationships and people I need to forgive and things that I need to let go so I can be the happiest so I can be the best mom so I can put the best content out here for you guys and just be my genuine bubbly like happy self because I have had a lot of stress lately so I wanted to do it more for like the cleansing route of the mind even though here we go once I I'm always like oh I don't want to talk about it but then as it like gets into it obviously fasting is incredible for your your health as well that's been proven um it helps to cleanse your digest digestive tract and um, clear out like parasites because all disease starts in the gut and so many things on to health, but I'm not doing it for like a weight loss purpose. Um, you guys know I'm already eating pretty healthy and uh, counting my macros for my cut anyways. I wanted to do this separately, uh, just really for the clarity of the mind. Tomorrow is actually day three and I actually feel like amazing. Um, Again, whole other thing, but I wanted that to kind of stem onto why I wasn't on social media this weekend and really the personal like development uh, work that I just have been doing um, over the past week. I also just wanted to make this video as well to help normalize. Um, I think that talking about mental health and depression, um, it needs to be a little bit more normalized, um, you know, within social media and people who have big followings or seem to, you know, have a great life or have it all together or have money. I 
I really relate to other influencers who come on camera and you know say what they're currently going through in their in their home life or whatever situation they feel comfortable you know sharing with their audience um, I've told you guys a lot that I used to struggle with depression really bad and I had pretty much overcome a lot of it but I can honestly say if I'm just being real with you guys that this past week I this past weekend um, I definitely felt some depression yeah there it's crazy because I'll put up YouTube videos and I'll be so happy and bubbly and I'll be like in the moment and excited about something and then the next day I'll just wake up and I won't want to do anything my mindset will just be like dragged down I will have very low energy and the past like week I've just been very up and down um, and that's not like me like if you guys watch my girl boss videos or my law of attraction videos again I've done so much research on how to create an amazing life for yourself this is what I preach to you guys right this is why I'm nervous to put these kinds of videos up because I'm afraid someone will comment oh well you make videos on how to tell us how to manifest your dream life and be so happy but you're not even happy and I am majority of the time, but I'm just recognizing that there are certain phases, obviously, where I'm human too, you know, and I feel emotions and I get down or sad or go through things. Um, and I, I wanted to just be honest with myself and recognize that this past week I've been feeling very up and down. Um, but yeah, I kind of just want to end off this video with whatever you're going through in life. Everything is a season. This is what I'm realizing too. I'm not saying this because I've overcame everything and I'm perfect. I'm saying this because I'm currently going through it. So if you're going through it, I'm there with you. The house that you know is meant for Christian and I and the relationship and the amazing man who I know is meant for me and coming into our life will come at the right time. And I have to just know that and be confident in it and cherish what I have right now in the moment and be grateful for Christian and my current place and my current situation so that those other amazing things that are on the way, you know, will manifest into my reality. So if you're out there and you are in a state of struggle or you're feeling like, why is everyone succeeding faster than me? Why is everyone getting their dream home? Why is everyone buying the Range Rover? You guys, I have felt like this for so long. I see some of my best friends on social media all the time posting a new Mercedes, new G-Wagons, you know, in Bora Bora, in their dream home. And I get so, I try not to because I know the feelings of jealousy and the feelings of being upset. Those aren't gonna, that's not gonna help my reality in any way. But sometimes it's very hard to not, like, I feel like I'm working extremely hard on my content as well. I'm almost on my fifth year. You know, I put so much into my videos and I still try to be someone who responds to every comment and all this stuff. And then I see other people with millions of views on each video or even four or 500,000 views on each video. And, you know, yeah, going on crazy vacations, getting crazy homes, getting crazy cars. And I just think, when is that gonna happen for me? When is something gonna happen and my success is gonna go like this? When is my hard work gonna pay off? When am I finally not gonna be single and I'm gonna have someone to come home to and tell about my day and have someone there to love and cherish who my son can look up to? When am I gonna hit all these milestones, you know? And I don't know exactly when, but I am having faith and I'm, I'm feeling confident in the fact that when that time is right for each of those blessings, they will come into my life and they're being delayed right now for a reason. Maybe I have, you know, like I said, even though I feel that I'm at a really good mature place mentally and I've matured up a lot over the past few years, maybe I still have more personal development work to do. Maybe the person I'm supposed to be with, they're over there busy working on themselves and just when the time is right, um, you know, everything will come together. So I want to just let you guys know that everything that is meant for your life will come at the right time. I truly, truly believe that. And no state, no state or struggle that you are currently in lasts forever. Everything passes, you know, time heals everything. Yeah, I just truly believe and truly know that amazing things are coming my way if I continue to work really, really hard, be an honest person and just have pure intentions. And I believe that for you guys as well. I want the absolute best for all of you. I want you guys to also be in your dream relationship, have your dream home, kick ass in your job, at school, whatever you're out there doing, I want the absolute best for you. That's the whole point of my channel with the girl boss and sharing anything I've been through with you guys because I want you to experience that incredible life as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. And again, like ending off that last sentence, it always sounds, I see people perceiving it wrong. I do have that, you know, that great life that I'm talking about. Just, you know, I do have doubt, um, days where my emotions are down or I'm going through like a depressed phase. And I also want to acknowledge that and like be real about that, you know? So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm even going to title this video. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching and being here for me always. You guys are amazing. If you could give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the, what was that? If you enjoyed the uh, chit chat, raw, real talk. I don't know. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for giving me a little break this weekend and I can't wait to see you in my next video.